Okay, please don't mind the bad audio quality because I'm literally outside because there's nowhere else to do this at the moment. But basically, okay, so let's get to the video. The Melbourne Cup every year is basically the race that stops the nation. Well, in Australia anyway. Basically, it's a horse race, but it's like big, I guess. So every year, there are 24 different horses that compete for, I guess, the most prestigious cup in the horse racing calendar anyway so i thought it'd be fun this year to instead of like going to cousin's house and doing a so-called sweep which i can't do now because of covid i thought i'd do my own sweep so basically what i did is i took a five by five and then i solved it and then i recorded the amount of seconds it took me to do so basically that's the minutes times 60 multiplied uh, so add the seconds and basically, I divided that number by 24. I basically round the number. I be, uh, I divided by 24. But you take the remainder, so that's also called mod 24. And that will give me a number from 1 to 24. Or actually 0 to 23, but if it's 0, I can say 24. Then I get a number, and then I can associate that with some horse. So yeah, let's see how the solve went. A new PB. <laughs> I think it's the same way. So, 220, so 2 minutes and 20 seconds. That is 140. So, 140 mod 24. And we get 20. So, number 20, as you can see here, is Etar James. I don't know. I think that's how you say it. So, let's see if my horse wins. Okay, so there is no way I'm going to be able to show footage from the actual race without getting copyrighted. So I'll send a link in the description for the race, basically, if you want to watch it. And see if my horse came first. And also, pick a number from 1 to 24, what's your prediction? Anyway, so if you've watched it, uh, I'm going to spoil it. Um, my horse did not come first. It came like 17th. Um, uh... Who came first? Number six, which was Twilight Payment. Something like that. So, yeah. Just a little something I would like. Oh, I just wanted to try. So, yeah. Thanks for watching and see you next time.